You got one yep. minute for a, a quick one word rad or fad to uh, close us out? I do. All right. What do we got? Instagram messaging automation. Rad or fad? Uh, <laughs> Instagram messaging automation. Yeah, they're coming out I with tools. To come that, out of my mouth. They're coming out with tools. Fail. That's Gonna automate. That's gonna automate all of that. Yeah. All right. Clubhouse. So the Clubhouse word. slash social audio. Rad or fad? <sighs> fad. And I said feo, as in Spanish, ugly. The last thing I hate is automation. And the worst thing about today's world. Why am I not on Clubhouse anymore? I don't have time. I I time shift all of my social activity. When I have time in a line, I will plug in. But for me, live audio doesn't allow me to capture it, doesn't allow me to share it, doesn't allow me to use it, and it forces me to shift my time and priorities to their time. I could go back and listen to it, but I don't know about you, but how many people do not go back and listen to a recording later on? They'll record and listen to your podcast, but they're not going to go, no. And so while it's really exciting and everything, the impact it's having on business people, professionals who are busy, I'll listen to NPR maybe if I'm in my car in my commute, but I'm not in my car in commuting. I don't have that time anymore. And so it's a very, so yeah, short answer, bad. It is not going to last simply because it's such a social disruption bad way that it just, people just aren't going to make that change. So there you go. There's my answer. And. I, you're one of the smartest people I know, and I have been saying the same since the beginning. I don't have enough time for it either, and I think it's a fad. Uh, TikTok for B two B, and it's not necessarily here yet. TikTok. Rad or fad? Fad. You just heard me say video is the <laughs> worst performing out there. People just don't have the time. Marketing's going to love it. Salespeople aren't going to use it. All right. Uh, the cookie-less future that's coming. I know you're not an ads guy. You're more in the PR space, but uh, good or bad, fat rad or fad. I'm hoping it. Uh, I'm hoping it's a. I'm hoping it's a rad. I'm hoping it's rad. Yeah. Because I just got off the phone with Europe and Asia doing training, and they, it was acknowledged they're a lot more sensitive about giving up personal information than we are here in the states. And I would hope that we would start to become a little bit more cautious about it. So I'm hoping rad. Zoom calls. Now that pandemic's hopefully gone, going away, we're getting to the, the final turn, hopefully. Uh, here to stay forever. Here to stay forever. Yep. Here to stay forever. I talked to CEOs who are like, why would I make my people go back into the office? I talked to executives who are like, look, if I have to go into the office for two people to be on the call and three of them are at home, why are we even going into the office? No, it is here to stay. We have learned. We did not believe it over a year and a half ago. We thought we had to be in person to be more effective. But we have learned, no. And I will take Zoom fatigue over commute fatigue any day. So it is here to stay. Last one. Seltzer beer. All the seltzers. <laughs> Rad or fad? <laughs> I don't drink. All Never right. have. I'm a terrible person to ask. But I'm going to say that's a fad. Yeah. Because <laughs> no, that just sounds disgusting. It's but, like, oh, right, we're back to the wine coolers of the 80s. You know, I don't know. <laughs>